In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the simplest and most effective pressures right now in Madden 22. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also guys, if you have not heard yet, I just released my nickel triple defense. Now what's really cool is you can actually build off of the concepts out of our 245 odd, as well as our 335 wide defense, which is two of our other defensive guides that we've released over the course of the Madden 22 season so far. And then you can combine all of that with this incredible, incredible nickel triple defensive package. The nickel triple defensive package is by far my favorite defense up until this point. And the reason why I love this so much is because it's a very balanced defense that is going Going to allow you to create a ton of different results uh, from a pressure perspective as well as a coverage perspective so if you want to get access to my full nickel triple defensive guide there's a link in the description it's on sale right now for just $15 all you got to do is go down click that to click that link in the description and it'll take you right over to the website where you can get the guide for just 15 bucks now what's really cool about this is we can do this from any play in the nickel triple so I'm just going to pick the Tampa 2. It's my favorite play by far. Uh, that and the cover 6 are my two most called plays from this. But uh, we're just going to pick that Tampa 2 play. And the setup is really simple. Literally all we're going to do is globally blitz our linebackers. And we're going to stand kind of right here. And what you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, we're going to get instant pressure. Now, uh, what you might need to do with this is if you, you want to kind of be a little bit trickier, um, just a little bit a little bit uh, to the right of the center there. I was a little bit close. But there you see, there's the slip angle that we get. And as you can see, we're getting all these different types of disengages and sheds. And what I love about this defense, like I said, it's super simple. Just globally blitz your linebackers. You can come down a little bit. If you come down a little bit, it does sometimes help. One of the things you can also do is go a little bit more to the left. I'll show you. It's just different places to stand to trigger different disengages. So you're going to see we're going to stand here. And now you see there's that instant pressure off that right edge. Now, the beauty of this defense is that, like I said, there are so many things we can do. One of my favorite looks pre-snap is to show blitz and then bring this, uh, to bring that safety off the left edge because, as you can see at this point, it becomes basically a better version, in my opinion, of the 3-3-5 wide meta defense. Why? Because we're able to send uh, a couple different types of pressure from this. For example, we could show blitz and we could pop the safety right off the edge right there and then we could contain off that left side and kind of slide this guy in just a little bit and now what you're going to see is a six man uh, pressure and if they're blocking that running back oftentimes this is going to come completely clean even if they're blocking a running back so this is one of my favorite blitzes for a lot of different reasons but again it is super super simple to set up there's not a whole lot you have to do there was a little bit too far backed off with my user I also recommend just holding the left trigger whenever you come down. So again, you're just kind of standing kind of like right here, or you could even stand over here. Uh, I've had success with both. Just kind of standing here. There you see, um, occasionally we will get that B gap pressure and we go over how to get that B gap pressure a little bit more consistently in our defensive guide. This is one of my favorite blitzes because as you see right there, you get super fast B gap pressure. Super, super fast B gap pressure. You can also get, again, depending on where you stand, you're gonna get a little bit of a different result. Like if you stand over here, it's not as consistent, but you can still get that B gap pressure as you see. And then the cool part is when you put the unpredictable ability across your uh, across your different defensive linemen, you're going to find that this thing is absolutely insane. As you see, that B gap pressure is super consistent. He's screaming through the B gap pretty much every single time that I go to the left side. Now, if I want again to have some a little bit more of an edge base rush, then I can basically do this and kind of come down in here. But as you see, J.J. Watt is just absolutely fighting through and going to put a lot of interesting types of pressure on your opponent. If you QB contain, um, you can QB contain. I will say QB contain is sometimes a little bit inconsistent, but as you see again, there's your gap pressure. J.J. Watt coming through the A gap. Now, the other thing that you could do with this is you can kind of do a little bit of a what's called a rundown technique. You can stand just like this, doesn't look like anything's gonna happen, and then it snap the ball, you can kind of make a little bit of a move and kind of trigger some pressure, maybe go in a little bit more or whatever, but you don't have to be like super close in this formation to trigger some of these, these amazing, amazing rushes. So I love this defense. I think this defense is insane. I think that you know the more um, the more that you can kind of disguise your pressure versus your coverage the better and again this doesn't really look like a ton of pressure could come especially if you kind of sit back in, in this area right here 
maybe you stand like right here, kind of hold that hold that left trigger, um, and, and kind of trigger the, the pressure to be able to come in. So again, if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook, we have so many concepts. This is just one of the many concepts that we have uh, in the defensive guide. Again, here you see you know these base five man rushes. The cool part about nickel triple is it's basically the nickel bear defense. There's so many bear uh, kind of concepts out of this. There's so many different types of things like that that we can leverage as well. Uh, again, this five man though is one of my favorites because it really is simple. The other thing is that again, depending on where you stand, if you stand over here, um, you can easily trigger this this B gap pressure. Now I've got some. Uh, obviously, we've ran the same blitz a little bit, so it's getting a little. You know the the the. Um, the thing is fatiguing, but then you can even do stuff like this. You can, you can, uh, you can do something like this where you go ahead and, and flip it. And now your linebackers in that gap. And there you see, there's the edge rush that we were talking about. So the cool part about this defense is just the fact that there's so many different things that you can do, uh, with where you place your guy. And it's really going to change uh, how they're going to pick stuff up. There you see there's that B-gap fighting through again uh, at the quarterback. And that B-gap, like I said, we can get that a lot more consistently with some of the setups that we have in the defensive ebook. The more you get down in here, you know, you can get this stuff to be super clean. But I love the double disengages. And this defense is just a lot of fun to run. And there's so much you can do with these flips and different things. Uh, within this defensive guide. So I would encourage you, if you've not gotten our nickel triple defense, I would definitely encourage you to do it because you're going to get pressures like that. You're going to get these, uh, you know, just these different types of pressures that really aren't able to be had out of any other formation. That's what I like about this defense so much. So again, if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook, there's a link in the description below. You can get it. It's on sale right now. Uh, it's on sale for just 15 bucks. And again, um, you know, I would encourage you. It's not all about the pressure, even though the pressure is really good out of this. Um, it's not all about the pressure. There is incredible, incredible ways to get what I would call coverage D's, shed D's, stuff like that. But as you see, I mean, that A gap is insane, or I guess it's technically B gap. But anyways, it's just super, super effective. And again, there, there's just different ways you can trigger it. You can stand over here, and you'll see over there, you get more edge pressure. And then if you stand to the left, you're going to get more B gap pressure. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this is we can use our different people. So for example, if I want to use this guy and come down in this area right here, then I can do that. I can send that same A gap pressure. And as you see, we're triggering those same disengages. And as you see, we're getting instant sheds. And that's what's really cool. When you start pairing this with different defensive linemen abilities that we recommend, different uh, coverage shells, you can actually create some really incredible concepts out of this. One of my favorite blitzes is this one right here, uh, where I'm able to send, you know, pretty much insane amount of pressure, get gap and edge heat uh, out of it against the bunch. So a lot of really good concepts. And again, if you want to learn all of them, there's a link in the description. Just click that link. It'll take you to my website where you can get the entire defensive ebook for just $15.